welcome to Crafty Purple Dragon. It's been a while, uh, but I've been plodding on with my crochet. Uh, but, but it's been a while since I've done anything uh, other than craft related things as a hobby. And um, I quite fancied doing a jigsaw puzzle. And I saw this. And I thought, well, it's craft related and it's a jigsaw puzzle. So I thought I'd get it and I thought I'd show you. Guys, now then, it's as usual, people get confused. It's called Nitty Kitty. There's all this yarn work and cats. But I don't see any knitting needles. There is only... Crochet hooks, that's it. Uh, there's some cotton and buttons and scissors. But there's no, I don't see any knitting items. So this is a uh, Ravensburger puzzle. It's a thousand pieces. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many. Let's have a look. Sorry, I'm struggling with my set up here. It's not very good. <coughs> um, thousand pieces. Let's show you the box. Nitty Kitty includes inbox leaflet showing artist biography and additional puzzle picture for reference. Ravensburger, that's the side. Number 165285. This was 14 99 from Amazon. Uh, there's the measurement. Uh, 70 by 50 centimetres approximately and then the final side there we go so let's open it up and have a look oh this is the back sorry the back Okay, let's open it and have a look. Inside. Take the cellophane off into the bin. Okay, inside. Come on. Okay, so the inside box has got writing on it as well. Uh, things in different languages, I suppose, if you wanted to glue it together. Ravensburger puzzle. Lasting puzzle fun. It's easy to preserve your finished puzzle with the Raven Ravensburger puzzle conserver. Okay, so you can hang your completed puzzle or put it in a frame to display. So this is the inside. This is the poster. Or the picture of the completed puzzle. Isn't it cute? A crafter's workshop and some curious kittens. What could possibly go wrong? It doesn't look too bad so far with one of the cute cats asleep in the wool basket and others playing with yarn or resting amongst the elaborately crocheted cushions but we're unsure whether the little mice will survive in one piece. 
This workshop belongs to someone very skilled as we can see from the beautiful crafted toys, dialies and richly patterned shawl hanging from the shelves. Let's hope they return before our feline friends cause too much chaos. Isn't that great? It's even acknowledged that it's crochet in the blurb. But they call it Nitty Kitty. Escape the pressures of the day and enjoy some mindful moments as you assemble this colourful and charming puzzle. About the artist. Steve Reed is a self-taught artist who started work as a mural designer. Over a 20-year period, he progressed to becoming a freelance illustrator working on high-profile advertising campaigns. He has developed a very broad portfolio ranging from beautiful fairy tale and fantasy illustrations, superb unicorns are a speciality, to charming landscapes, wildlife and underwater scenes. His style is characterised by strong composition, incredible attention to detail and a superb use of colour. Steve lives on the east coast, not far from London. So the east coast of England. Uh, if you've enjoyed this design, you might also enjoy some of our other puzzles. Crazy Cat's Autumn Banquet, thousand piece. Or Treasure Trove, which is also a thousand piece. Thank you for choosing this puzzle which supports the work of our Oxfordshire-based development team. We work with a talented group of artists and designers from across the UK and together we want to give you the very best puzzle experience. We'd love to hear your thoughts about this design, so please contact us to share your puzzle stories. Oh, well, that's cool. And the back is just plain. So even though they are actually a German company, this is very UK um focused which is interesting and these are the puzzle pieces so i won't bore you with showing me put it together because it'll take a while um but i thought because it was crochet craft related i would um actually show you the puzzle in case anybody else fancies it because i thought it was quite a nice picture oh we're already getting puzzle dust down here I don't know where that comes from. Right. So let's have a look at the puzzle pieces. Oops. So as I understand it, Ravensburger puzzles are all this blue cardboard background. And there's a slight sheen on the puzzle, but it's not too bad. Premium puzzle. That's the bag, in case you're interested in the bag. <laughs> Just has premium puzzle stamped on it. And plastic bag can be dangerous. Right, all the pieces are out the bag. There's dust everywhere. Let's get rid of the bag. Oh, it's quite a bit of puzzle dust. Right, so they're the pieces. Now I've got to spend my time sorting them out and trying to put the puzzle together. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you've done any puzzles, if you've come across any craft related puzzles. Let me know what they're called and what puzzle companies they're from because if I'm going to do any more puzzles, I've decided that they're only going to be craft themed. Okay, so I've done my sort. The way I decided to do it was uh, based on shape. So these are the edge pieces. And then I've sorted, uh, let's have a look. These are standard puzzle pieces. So two ins, two outs. Then I've got a pile here of all outs, a pile of all ins. Ins. I just didn't think there was enough colour sections. This is three outs, three ins, and
and then two outs and two ins. So that's my sort. Oops, got a bit of merging going on here. No merge, no allowed to merge. Uh, so that's how I decided to sort them. And I know there'll be additional sorting of shapes in each category, but I'm going to try and start with the um, edge. Okay, so I've done the frame. Apart from there's one piece missing. So I obviously didn't sort that out when I was doing my initial sort. It'll turn up hopefully at some point. So now I need to start to sort the rest of these pieces out and try and fill in the rest. <gasps> So this is current progress. This is, well, it's day four since I started it, but I've not worked on it like every day. So I've probably done about three days on this so far. Um, so I seem to have done like the corners. Um, And then I've got pieces in sort of the general area where they go. And then over here, this is the picture for reference. Over here I've got stacks of foam board with bits of pieces on. So this is all fur for this, finish off this cat here. This is what I'm just starting to look at now, which is um, like any crocheted item so this bear these here this girl and, and uh, there's a bunny and the swan not really got the swan I've got sort of coloured things here so that's what I'm going to start to look at next uh, these bits are this cushion uh, that I've not been able to fill in. I've started filling in a bit of it here. And then I've just got foam board with different shaped pieces. So standard puzzle pieces. Sort of in vague colour uh, groups. Um, so I'm just using foam board. So that I can move them around. And that's it. That's the last one there. Oh, sugar. Dropped some. Uh, so that's progress so far. I'm not doing too bad given it's been a while since I did puzzles. I don't think I am anyway. Uh, there we go. More progress later. And this is the end of the day. I'm getting there. Not too bad. Managed to fill in. A little bit more. So this is it, I've finished it. That was really enjoyable. I enjoyed doing it for sure, apart from this bit here, this area, which I finished last because I had to do it basically by puzzle shape because it's so bitty. Like when you zoom out, it 
it looks quite, you know, you know what it is. But on the piece shapes, oh, nightmare. Absolute nightmare. For me, anyway, as a novice puzzler, someone who doesn't really do puzzles, all these little bits of crochet. awkward uh these bits weren't too bad you know the 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 amigurumi wasn't too bad the cats fairly easy because they're different colors um so they weren't too bad but yeah this again was a bit awkward to do but no, overall, I quite enjoyed that. So, there you go. Nitty Kitty, it's called, by Ravensburger. Not knitting related at all. And that's the poster that comes with it. And I'll just show you the box again. So I uh, just wanted to add a little note about a couple of pieces of the jigsaw that had issues. They were um, next to each other. Uh, the out piece of, or the out part of one piece had some cardboard attached to it and the in piece uh, of the adjacent piece also had some cardboard attached to it where it hadn't been cut properly I guess but that was the only issue I had with the pieces if I can do I'll insert a picture of those pieces here uh, and also here is a full view of the completed puzzle thank you very much for watching I appreciate the views Please like and subscribe and as I said earlier if you do have any craft related puzzles that you're aware of please drop them in the comments let me know the name of the puzzle if you can and the manufacturer so that I can track it down thanks very much for watching bye